Why are guys so critical about Filipinas? I've got to admit, I see it from time to time, especially if I put a positive video out there, you get people saying, oh, Filipinas this, oh, Filipinas are that. Reality is, a lot of these guys have made bad decisions themselves, or they've got scammed online, and let's face it, anywhere you go, whatever country, there is dregs of society in every single country, planet, well, not in every planet, I suppose, but on every country, there is dregs of society that will exploit other people. In the same way, there's plenty of people out there that cannot recognize that they're at fault either. So instead of actually dealing with the problem, which is maybe they fell in love online and will not recognize the fact that it wasn't love, it was actually the feeling of loneliness and a connection with somebody online that purely manipulated them. Instead, all Filipinas are bad because it makes it much easier to deal with. And I know I'm very blunt on this, and the reason I am is because, quite simply, saying all Filipinas are bad is not only wrong, it reinforces the fact that your decisions were wrong and you're the person responsible for those decisions, nobody else. What you need to recognize is that where you made your mistakes. What did you do wrong that created the environment you ended up in? Why did you leave you? Well, she didn't leave me because there was only on the internet, but I was a bit annoyed I sent money here. Well, that's just a fool is easily separated from their money. Learn from it. Don't do it again. As a, there's another video on here about your internet girlfriend doesn't need your money because the whole point is you shouldn't be sending money. There's no attachment to this person. You're having a relationship, you haven't met them. Be realistic. Until you meet this person, there is no real connection. What you have is the wanting to meet somebody and somebody who spends time with you online. But at no point has that been reinforced to the point that you need to send money on a regular basis. Because you haven't got that far in the relationship yet. You haven't met them. So, don't waste your time online complaining that other people are happy or content when in fact, rather than saying, well, maybe you just met a good woman or whatever, Instead, you just say, all oh, women are like this, all for women are like this. All the... See, the thing is, I say about Western women the fact that I w would not have a, a relationship with another Western woman. That's my choice. I'm not telling other people not to do it. When I talk about MGTOW in the legal system, it's because that's true. <laughs> you know, that's the thing. It's not that I hate Western women or anything like that. It's just not worth it for me. I've got no interest in them. I wouldn't actually turn around and say that nobody should date Western women. I just can't understand. Uh, well, sorry. I can't understand why somebody would say they hate all Western women when they haven't met all. Um, I, for myself, I just don't find that attraction and I don't see the point in getting into those risks. I just can't see the point of it. But I don't sit there and say this is this, this is this. Um, what I do focus on is the way some of this stuff gets manipulated and going off on a tangent trying to explain all that stuff. Um, but the point being is there's a lot of brilliant women out there in the Philippines. Fantastic women. I've met lots and I know lots. And at the same time, it doesn't mean that um, they're desperate and need to leave. You know, A lot of the women I know, quite simply, are just looking for somebody they, they can have a long-term relationship with. They already have jobs, they already got their own money and stuff. They're not fussed if they leave the Philippines or stay there. And I, I do find a lot of foreign guys will go, go for the easy option, which is the online dating, find these women, and a lot of those women that you're talking to, quite simply, would not be women that are marriage material. And then you go, all oh, Filipinas are like this. No, they're not. You didn't do your homework, did you? You didn't do your research. You went into an area that is predominantly get more and more full, full of <laughs> full of fools, uh, in the sense that they're they're opportunists in there. You got a lot of women there that are there 24/7, whether they're there, their mothers there, their sisters there, their brothers there, whatever, all pretend to be the same person. They all seem to be online. Well, those are scammers. And those are the ones with the most time. And those are the ones a lot of guys end up hooking up with because guess what? They're the ones with the bait in the water 24 seven. They're the ones you can hook up with. And they've gone through so many men and stuff and they may have five, 10, 
men on the go at the same time that they're all trying to wheel some money out of. But one thing is for sure, that is not all Filipinas. Thanks for watching.